they're not the impact. Um, the media was wrong. The hype was wrong. Uh, the science is showing that. But do they need to have game fish status, which will reserve them some protection? Okay, well, first let's say that in, in, in a different scenario than the Potomac, tidal Potomac River, th they, it may be more of an issue. So let's just get that out there, okay? In a less productive system, especially if you had maybe a threatened or endangered fish, it might be a little bit more of an issue. I don't know. I said maybe. Okay. So that being said, to get snakeheads, northern snakehead, to a game fish status may happen, but it's going to take... Okay, where are we now? Uh, 11 years into the experiment with the Potomac River, 2004, or 12 years, 2016. 31, Matt? Yeah. 12 years. Okay, so, and, and they've been here for three years, probably more. So 15 years into this progress, um, I think it's probably going to take at least another 15 years before most administrators in state game and fish agencies even begin to consider listing northern snakeheads as a game fish because of invasive because of that That's yes it's it, it's it's that that it's that institutional reluctance to accept something that has been branded as so bad and legitimize it and, and i'm not saying whether that's wrong or right i'm just saying that's a fact it, in and, and i've seen the angler attitudes change just in the last five years especially where we've had more and more people supportive of, of placing some sort of, whether it's a creel limit uh, or whatever, on harvest of snakeheads because the numbers have begun to decline in many creeks. But, but because of this, this, this stamp, this aura of this invasiveness that's been placed, and, and still certain states and certain federal agencies are still really uh, vehemently supporting the, the invasive aspect of this fish, although it has not been verified, that it's gonna be very hard for, for people in the public spotlight to sort of endorse the fish, okay? So I, I think at some point it probably will happen. Based on my conversations with biologists in Florida and Hawaii and even Japan, the numbers of fish are probably gonna to continue to decline where the fish has been the longest. And, and the, the biggest, okay, the fish have been, in, not, not the northern, but a very mm. similar fish has been in Hawaii for decades. Is it bullseye? Or? Um, blotched. Yes. Bullseye's in South Florida. Yeah. Blotched snakeheads in Hawaii. I asked the biologist there eight years ago. I said, what, what's the biggest problem you have with snakeheads in Hawaii? You know what a response was to me? No. There's not enough of them. People want to catch them, and they can't catch them because there's not enough of them. And, and what you said, if you you know, just before that was the the, the change in attitude in anglers. Right. Um, I've noticed it too, uh, even on social media, where five six years ago it was kill 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 everyone, and now I'm. It's surprising to me, honestly, you know, because it's very rare that you get something. A brand new, exciting game fish. You know, I mean, when does that happen? I mean, it just—it's—it's it's unheard of. Well, like the term yeah. invasive, game yeah. fish is subjective too, right? It's very true. It's very true. But I—I I, do—I I do see those the, those attitudes changing, and you're yeah. seeing more and more guys protect them and get upset when they see indiscriminate killing. I—I I love the fact that I think that attitudes are changing, even if it just starts with one. To me, that. That, you know that that's at least a start we've seen we've seen attitudes change with our you know just us being on the water you know for years anglers were upset with us if they saw us tagging and releasing fish for a study they said why are you releasing these fish they're evil you know you should be killing them all and now if we're out and we still do kill a fair number of fish to get information on what they're eating the, the state of the gonads the reproductive cycle and they see us killing fish and they're pissed they're like what are you killing our fish for I, I ran into a guy uh, from Charlottesville who was fly fishing out of Pohick. And he says, I just drove up here two hours from Charlottesville. I'm trying to catch these fish in here. You're killing them. You know, so, so we, as, as, as a resource manager, we've got to try to balance our constituents' desires with uh, ecosystem impacts. And right now, those desires are very high, and the ecosystem impacts look to be very low. So it, it's a tough spot for us to be in. To any of you legislators watching this video, he just mentioned some guy drove two hours. I guarantee there's more people that are going to buy licensing and are going oh, yeah. to purchase things in Virginia, which is going to bring revenue. 
So maybe that's something to think about. Um, John, last thing I want to talk to you about is can we, can you explain?